y'all. Rusty RV TV, welcome. Check it out. It's I-40. Right down there's California, Colorado River. I'm just out goofing off today, kinda. In that Bullhead City, I gotta go up. Pick up some supplies up there. This is exit two. This is called Needle Mountain Road, something like that. Right there is a big uh, maintenance yard for Arizona, ADOT. Cell tower, that's looking back off. Look at the smoke. Goodness gravy. Still hanging. Off that direction is Lake Havasu. Anyway, uh, also I want to check something out. We're going to actually cross to Colorado. We're going to run over and check out a RV resort and a couple other things right across the river. Actually, it'd be California. All right, well, let's go have fun today. Get landed, we'll get going. Here we go, I-40 westbound. Almost out of Arizona. We're not going far though. Look at the mountains. Now, check this out. We're looking straight off California. There's blue sky back towards Havasu is all the smoke. <laughs> Go figure, huh? It just laying in the mountains back there. Hey, wasn't that trip up to see that goldfish pond cool up there in uh, Boreana Mine? Right here, up here is exit one. Those trucks, they go fast here because as soon as they get California, they got to slow down to 55. <laughs> All right, now exit one. That is the original U.S. historic U.S. 66. I will actually come back to this exit. We're just going to go right across the river. Now, a really good friend of mine was telling me that this Pirates, uh, I think it's Pirate Cove, Pirate Ness. We'll figure it out over here. Anyway, this resort, they actually have campsites right on the water. And I don't remember that. I've never stayed at it. I don't know, uh, I think it was uh, last fall. I was over here and we filmed it. Check it out, here we go. Right about the middle here. We are leaving Arizona. Hang on to your seats. Get ready. You are officially in California. <laughs> Love it. All right, we're gonna go up to the next exit one <laughs> and take it. Which is also a little chunk of US 66. Right here. This is the next one. I definitely would come over here and spend a night. Because with all the virus stuff, I really haven't thought about it. Plus, also, I am looking for places to bring the dusty nugget to ride out in the desert. Now this would be perfect. Come over here and camp. And there are dirt trails everywhere out here. Quite a bit of BLM land, trails, and needles, which is just up the road about 10 miles. There's also a huge uh, field office. Good place to get maps and whatnot for BLM. So, kind of scoping out the areas, different areas, for later this fall and winter. Places to go explore. Here it is here. Pirate Cove. Sorry if I called it something different. 
they got water so they got greenery we'll just go up by the office but I want to go out that levee road out towards the water and see if those uh, RVs can park out there along the water because that's what I was told and I sure don't remember look how cool those shrubs look all squared off big old wood planters with a palm right in the middle of it that was real cool okay what do we got in here this is their office looks like check-in area big old parking lot I think they got like uh, rooms motel hotel here right there's a boat ramp I see boats water there's their office I'll do a little more research on this later on but this is definitely on the list I've been uh, making a little list like I said earlier about doing some exploring later this fall right now it's still too hot to be boondocking straight out in the desert want to get the temperatures down just a little bit also next week there's a big dirt race down in Parker we're gonna go to we're gonna spend a couple nights down in Parker near the Blue Water Casino in Lucas Oil and uh, it's a whole racing circuit they're putting on a big event we're gonna go film it that'll be next week yay alright now this is part of the old Route 66 now off to the left you see uh, I guess it's probably a motel there's rooms anyway cabins rooms motel and that thing there that's got to be like a zip line or something right there is a water and I'll be darned there are, there's RVs over there how in the heck do they get over there Oh man, here's a good pull out. You know what? I've always wanted to. Let's drive down the end of this road. I think it dead ends and we'll come back. Take a look at it from the air. There's the mighty Colorado River. We've seen a lot of that. Different states all summer long. curving right back around to the bridges we just crossed I've never been down here I always wanted to looks like they got some major construction going here wonder what they're putting in on the other side's that huge gas gas line natural gas line with its own bridge Looks like I got a green light. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, look at this. They're building everything in here. I'll be darned. I doubt if this is for camping. Huh. There's the railroad. There's I-40 bridge. That we just crossed that. I'll be darn. I have never been back in here. Always kind of wanted to. I bet anything they're expanding this pipeline across through here. That is a major undertaking, I bet. Because all that structure right there, that's all natural gas piping. Pretty cool, though, huh? All right, I need to get turned around. We'll go check out the beach area from the air.
it's still getting out in the mid 90s or better during the afternoon but days are definitely getting shorter you can sure feel it tell it we're mid-august and the nights are cooling off finally getting down in the 70s even a little bit in the 60s which that helps that way the heat of the day is only good for like three four hours that helps in the desert a couple more weeks we will have perfect weather yay all right well while we're here let's go snoop around see what we can see <laughs> enjoy Right up here was that pole out somewhere. I can barely see the f sign for that cove. Get on the other side of this big dune here. Somewhere around here there's supposed to be some kind of petroglyph. But I'm not sure where. Alright, this looks good. See those brown stakes? That's all BLM markings. That sign has a BLM mark. So, all right, let's check it out. Well, no winds yet. The winds are really supposed to pick up. Road close. Public land emergency. Okay, just can't bring an ATV in here. We can sure walk it. That one, no motorized vehicles. Okay. Well, look at that. There's all kinds of RVs over along that shore. Now that's a river out there. This is their inlet cove. Huh. This would be a boat or RV dream. Look at this place. Looks like some day use areas down through there. No matter what, it sure is pretty. Yeah, I wonder if they got hookups over there. Zoom in with the phone here. There's a boat out there. There's those two trailers. It sure does. Yep, look at that. They got power hooked up to it or water. They gotta have hookups there, huh? That's a horseshoe pit. No wig. Look at the boaters. Isn't that cool? I'll be darn. More RVs. Dumpsters, restrooms. I'm wondering if that's part of the pirate resort or is that its own campground? Huh. Gonna have to figure this one out. Down there's their marina. Look at the mountains in the background. Kind of looks like a moonscape with palm trees. <laughs> All right, let's head back to the van. We'll do an aerial here and then get a little closer to the resort and do another one. Up 
we go. Here we go. Now we can see it. You know, straight across, that's Arizona. <laughs> we are on the state line. Wow, look at the color difference of the cove water, the inlet, kind of greenish to the color of the Colorado. Of course, the depth, too, is pretty shallow in that cove. You can see the bottom right there. There's that road. Look at that. There's RVs going all the way out through there. Huh. Always thought it was just an RV parked back in there. Well, my friend was right. And there's I-40. Doesn't that look desolate? But see, you get ATV. Look at all the dirt trails through there. And across the water, that's Topak. There's another marina on the Arizona side right there. Down by the bridge. Looks like some fishermen out there. Yeah, you can really see the bottom. But what a place to camp. Look at this. Oh, we got to come back, check this out. Maybe in November, huh? I'll have to call them. For sure, for sure. All right. Let's head on closer. Yeah, the places like this are pretty close to the Havasu area. I want to branch out too across the I-40. Well, let's get one more aerial. Then we'll head on out of here. Still no wind. They're, they're calling for really gusty winds later. Sneak across over here. See, that's a boater's dream over there. Look at that. You beat your boat. They probably don't let you water ski through here, but you could beat your boat, camp, and then uh, head on out to the river. This is really nice back in here. Kind of hidden, too. You don't really know it's here. All right, well. Let's take a look from there. Up we go. There's a little better look. It's a big resort. Quite a few boat slips. Right down there is their motel or hotel. Cottages, whatever. So the road to get out to that island must be out there a ways. Because you got to cut across. Go up a little higher. Somehow you got to cut over. A lot of mobile homes down there too. I bet people live here year round. Boy, it gets hot here. But look along the river on this side. Where all them little trees are, you see RVs. So maybe a little groups rent them, huh? I don't know, I'm guessing. <laughs> There's Arizona. 
those are wetlands over there. That's part of that uh, Havasu Wildlife Preserve, whatever. There's some boats. Back around to the bridge. Moonscape. <laughs> I'm teasing. All right, well, definitely one to keep track of. We'll definitely come back out and check it out. So here's a dirt trail going right along the side, top of that hill. There's the exit, and there's a uh, I-40. I'll be darned. Cool. Well, you never know. Do you get down in here and start checking this stuff out? You can actually camp right along the Colorado River here. Didn't know. Pirate Cove. All right, well, get landed and we'll get on out of here. Just when I was landed, boy, a gust of wind really hit, so those winds are going to pick up. But mid-October, weather's getting better. Looks like a, I guess that's a zip thing, one of them zip line things. It's a tower or something. What a huge place. The sign pulling in earlier said the restaurant was open. You can dine on the uh, waterfront. Well, from here, I'm just going to cut straight back over the river. Then I'm going to head up to Bullhead City. Going to pick up a couple supplies. They got all the major stores up there. Like I mentioned earlier, that uh, race, Blue Water Casino, Google it. It's next week. I think it's the 22nd through the 25th. Off-road racing, all different kinds of classes, Jeeps, but motorcycles, UTVs. I am not racing it. I'm just going to film it. The Dusty Nugget does not want to race. <laughs> We'll be a spectator, get to film it. That'll be fun anyway. If you're around up there, hope to see you. All right, journey continues. Never know where I'm going to end up. I'm still exploring. Talk soon. <laughs>